As a result, the NDTC intends to maximize capacity by increasing the number of diamond polishing firms from 11 to at least 15 within due course. This according to CEO Shihaleni Hinjaba, who says the company will create more jobs, enhance human resources within the sector and subsequently contribute towards industrialization. However, diamond polishing firms export about 80% of rough diamonds without local value addition, something the Minister of Mines and Energy, Obeth Kanjode, condemned in March. Firstly, when you buy the rough from um, NDTC, you have tied up, your, okay, you have paid cash and they have tied up your money there. If you think that uh, it's quicker to sell your, your, your rough and get your money faster, then it releases your cash back. In, 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 in the times when demand is, is slow, it will take you long to, to, to firstly, the circle to come to the point of polishing, having a polished diamond, it takes long, and also to sell it when the market is bad, it can also take long. And as such, some f f man manufacturers would prefer to, to sell a portion of their rough so that they can get their money back faster and that will help them not to keep on tying their money uh, for a long time. Of course, that's to help their business requirements, but from our perspective, we wouldn't be happy with that because it's depriving us from uh, our requirement to have as much as possible of the, the rough manufactured here. In addition, Brent Asip, manager of sales at NDTC, says plans are underway to revive the value addition chain within Namibia. We obviously know what the site holder requirements are, but what we're also looking at is introducing a, an additional layer of, uh, of customers that we call accredited buyers. So these are, these are businesses that might not have had a, a business dealings with NDTC in the past, but would like to start doing business with NDTC going forward and also contrib contribute to beneficiation activities. So um, in the next month or two, we're going to start rolling out those requirements so that if there's companies that are interested in getting involved in the value chain in Namibia, they would also be, be part of that process. And I think what we want to do is to allow for businesses, maybe even if it's small businesses, to come in and over time build up uh, to a point. And at a certain point, we, uh, we would then offer them a what we call a site holder uh, contract. The NDTC supplies about 45% of its rough diamonds to the United States, 15% to China, India absorbs about 10% worth of its diamonds and Japan just below 10%.